Hello, we would like to present the first steps and basic settings of the monitoring unit HWG ARIS, which is designed for remote monitoring and data collection over GSM and GPRS. As all HW group units, HWG ARIS enables the connection to a superior surveillance systems such as NEGEOS, HP OpenView and others. However, the unit can also operate as a standalone device. You can choose between three types of packages that differ in accessories. We are going to work with a package called ARIS 12 TSET, which is intended for getting familiar with the device and for a quick start. You can see that this package contains the HWG ARIS unit, CD with a detailed manual and with HWG PDMS software, USB cable, temperature sensor on a 3 meter cable, power adapter, and a GSM antenna with magnetic base and cable longer than 1 meter. The package does not contain a SIM card. You have to get a card from your operator. Setting up of the unit is very easy. We insert the SIM card of your operator in the slot, connect the supplied antenna and temperature sensor. You can connect the sensor to any of the two available ports. Now we connect the power adapter. After this the LED power and LED status are switched on. In some cases the LED modem light, indicating the connection to GPRS network, could be switched on too. Now we connect the HWG ARIS unit to a computer and we start the device setup. After the connection to a computer the unit starts to report itself as a new disk, just like when connecting a USB flash download. By double clicking the only executable file arascon.exe on the disk, the setup interface of the HWG ARIS unit is open. Now we can choose in which unit we want to measure the temperature, and we can choose the name of the unit. It is important whether the unit is connected to a network operator or to internet. You can find this information in the modem status. If the modem status says ready to use or connected to internet, everything is alright and we can start to work. If modem status is not ready to use, you have to change to advanced mode and modify the connection settings in the GSM, GPRS, internet tab. Eventually enter PIN for your SIM card. If you don't know your connection configuration, ask your operator or contact our distributor in your country. Now everything is alright and we can continue with the settings. We can set the sensor's behavior, safe range and the forms of sending alarm messages such as email or SMS in the digital inputs and sensor tabs. In the SMS tab it's possible to insert phone numbers for sending alarm SMS. At the same time you can set if this phone number will be drop called. It means that the start and end of alarm will be reported by a drop call lasting 15 seconds. You can verify the function by pushing the send test SMS button. To save time, we test only the SMS and not the drop call. In the email tab, it's possible to set addresses for alarm emails. At the same time, you can set the outgoing mail server here. You can get the outgoing email parameters from your operator or eventually contact our distributor in your country. Now the basic setup and the verification of function are done. HWG ARIS can send you the logit data periodically. Eventually, HWG ARIS can send the recorded data to some of the portal solutions such as SenseDesk, HWG Negios Collector or HWG PDMS. For this you have to change to advanced mode in the portal tab. Enable portal functions, set URL and port. For testing you can send the data by the manual push button. Now we can see the result. Next time we'll talk about the configuration of the portal solution.